Hi, so glad you dropped by tonight. Another week has gone by and I hope that I have some ideas that you too can use. My name is Linda Fippin and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. I have um, some ideas that I hope you will just enjoy and learn something new tonight and let's get started. The stamp set that we're going to use tonight is the one that's actually featured on the cover of the catalog that we have. Um, and so all of these pieces are there. And the name of the set is Artistically Inked. And it is lots of fun to use. It's found on page 96 and 97 of our catalog. So um, lots of fun products, great ideas. And we can just get started with our first card. So this is the card that we're going to use, um, that we're going to make tonight. And um, it was very simple, some stamps. But what I wanted to show you, I don't, I'm not sure if you've noticed it in the catalog, it's a stitched greenery die. And I think this is probably new for um, stamping up to have a full die like this, but it doesn't punch out all of the leaves. It just outlines them, so it makes a lovely background. So I'm not sure um, if you can see the outline so well, but I'm going to show you just so that you can get an idea how pretty this looks and how versatile it's going to be for all of the lovely flowers that we make. So what I did for this particular card was I put it through my die cutting machine and um, so that you can see it better, we're just going to use our blending brushes and just go around the outside a little bit to do some ombre. I didn't want it to be too dark. But the nice thing is that it's the design itself comes, you can see it in the, um, when it's, some ink has gone on it. But in real life, you can see this design as well. So it's, it's very, very nice. This is the one that I did. Maybe you can see that. Yeah. So um, it looks very pretty on the back for a panel. So this card um, also. So that's one of the things that I put on that card. The other thing is we're just going to practice. I'm going to show you how the stamps themselves work because they're very artistic. And what I did for each, um, for each one of my flowers, I did one on the um, colored cardstock, which is called polished pink. And then, so I did one of each on that. And then I did them on white. So it gives it a totally different look. But it does look very nice. So those are the two flowers. So you can see the again a watercolored look. And the white is a little bit easier to see. So what I did was I um, have some already made for us. Also, there's a die that cuts out this entire uh, leaf piece, which is just beautiful. Um, you know, actually, you could quite simply just use that on a card and you could get away with it with a nice sentiment. 
but we're going to do a little bit more with it than that. Get all my pieces organized here. So as I mentioned, I use the bit blending brush. This is a smaller size. I cut it down to four and a half by five. So I'm just going to do the same thing. And just kind of do it around the edge. And then the color that I'm using is um, shaded spruce. And I did it just an eighth of an inch bigger. Okay, I'm going to put these pieces over here because we've already seen those. So let's glue this on. You can hear the texture on that, can't you? So there we go. A nice eighth of an inch all around. And I put um, the large leaf on just like that, so we'll have to glue this a little bit. It cuts out really good in your embossing machine. And some of the pieces fall out, and some of the pieces, you just have to poke them out, so that's not a big deal. Just hold it for a second. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way just so I can see what I'm doing here. So um, it's your choice, which you like. I I actually like both of them. I like it on the um, the colored cards, cardstock, but it is the same ink. So let's use the white one because it has a little bit of... Uh, little bit of um, contrast on it. So we'll put this one up a little bit with some foam pieces and one in the middle. Now the only thing you have to look out for is that you give yourself enough room for your sentiment. And the hello sentiment, I thought, really is it just says it all. Also in this um, in this piece in this set is um, little dots that uh, I embossed in gold. Okay, so that's where that's going to go, and I've got flower that can go up there, and the flower that can go down here. Okay, that looks good. So I hope you had a good week. The weather today was beautiful. Had lunch on the, the deck today. which was very nice because we've had some chilly days, but uh, today was just gorgeous. So I hope it was nice and warm where you were. Nothing like sunshine. Okay, so three flowers. And I did put a few extra on um, 
on the sentiment itself. And I've got too many glues here. Then let's glue it on our front and our back. And this card is almost done. Then on the inside of the card, I just put another flower with some more um, with some more greenery, so it doesn't matter where you put them. So this will be the inside of the card. And if you felt that it was it's too big, you can always pull it down a little bit and just cut it off. So I put a few, let's see, let's put this here. And we'll just cut another one. This is the one I'm looking for. So we have that on the top. And you can have two or three. I think we just use two on the very top of the inside of the card. So it still gives you lots of room to put um, some nice encouraging words because the sentiment that we used is simply hello. So you could really use it for anything. You could even just put happy birthday on the inside. That would be fine. on the inside and our card is done. The only thing that I um, added, of course, are the our gold metallic um, rhinestones or pearls and I didn't want to put them anywhere except the sentiment because everything else is quite quite full so there is our first card hello and you could stamp that instead of uh, die cut it if you wished um, but I wanted to highlight the die cuts for this. So there we are, for card number one. Card number two is, let me just get rid of this here. Let's see here. Card number two is... A re another really quick whoops let's get this right another quick card and this is happy birthday and this is a die cut from this set which um, cuts out lovely so that's what it looks like in gold Ooh, there we go now I've um, okay what I wanted to show you for this particular card. This is the designer series paper. 
So it's 12 by 12 and it looks a little daunting. Um, but if you cut it in half and then you cut your pieces out, you can get six backgrounds up from this. So I did that with a this the greenery, which is the one we're going to be using right now. And I thought this was a, another lovely one with gold in it. And I cut it so that you can have six backgrounds. And you could easily just put a sentiment on the white part or just use it as a background. And both sides are very nice, but I liked the ones with the gold. So this is our card. And the sentiment comes from this celebrate with flowers. And I like the fact that the happy birthday is um, vertical, up and down. And uh, it just adds just a little different to, difference to the card. These sentiments I used are um, adhesive sheets, but you'll see in the next card, I'm just, um, just gluing it. So it's your preference, um, but it turned out very nice with, and it's easy to use the adhesive sheets. So card number two, I cut the, um, designer series paper and I'm just going to put the happy birthday along there. Okay, so the black really, um, I used a lot of black this <laughs> on these cards, but they really show off the, um, the designer paper very nicely. And this is lovely on the other side as well, but this is the one that I wanted to use today. Okay. So our front panel has the happy birthday and I embossed it with our new embossing powders. They They had, um, they've introduced, I guess, colors that they used to have and black, black, white and clear is one set and gold, copper and silver is the other set. And I bought both sets because I love embossing, especially on, um, especially on the sentiments. So I'm just taking these off. Now I wanted to put the sentiment on first because I wanted to um, make sure that the flower doesn't overlap. Okay, so. There's no right and wrong way to do things. It's whatever you prefer. Did I get that on straight? Oh, I think so. Okay, so. This here, I've already done the double-sided tape and I've taken it off so you don't have to watch me do it. So let's see. And then we just need to glue this on. Now this one I made um, horizontal. And we're just going to finish off the inside. What I did was I cut a flower in half, which is just horrifying when you think of it. Um, but the other half can go on another card. So 
if you glue it, see it's not uh, it's not so bad. And the nice thing is this glue does dry. Clear. So I just stuck it in the middle. Just held on to it for a minute. Just a little bit on here. Glue on this side. I will put the measurements on the description. Now, that was a very quick card. Oh, I forgot to put some gold leaves. There is, um, if you get the sweet, it comes with these. Let me show you these here. In this little package. Of all these wonderful gold parts that you can add to your, um, your cards very pretty so you can take them apart or let me see I think I'm going to take it apart And there we are. I didn't add any, add any rhinestones because I think there's lots of sparkle. And uh, it's a very quick and easy card. So the, that is card number two. Now we have one more card. And this card, I'm using the same die cut. But I'm going to stamp use the um, watercolor stamp with just jade to make the background and I used two die cuts one with the just jade and I put the black on top and then I did the same thing with the sentiment so um, and just did some quick stamping on the inside so let us get this card done and these ones I didn't um, I didn't glue ahead of time. So just bear with me as we make our, let me get a piece of paper. So sometimes um, when you, you put everything away and then you have to get it out because you have a good idea. So I've been working on trying to be a little bit more efficient with my ideas so that uh, I remember it all, but not necessarily. <laughs> so both of these, um, one is the outside panel and one's the inside panel. So for the inside, um, I just did a little on the bottom. And So there's no right and wrong way, again, to do this. It's whatever you prefer. So I'm going to turn it over and just give you an idea what that looks like. Now isn't that neat? Just like you have all the different uh, layers of color. Very pretty. So that's the inside of the card done. What I did for the front of the card is... You just stamp it. It can overlap. It does not matter. You can turn the stamp around, match it up, or not, because there's lots of white in between it anyway.
you know, when we've done the alcohol ink, this is very much the same idea. With lots of texture. And let's just turn it around again. And if you feel you've missed any, you can go back. And that is our front panel. So our front panel and our inside panel. Okay. So I... Let's layer it first to get that out of the way. And again, all of these card sizes today are all the same. And the layering is the same. One eighth of an inch difference from your outside panel. So we have our black and our jade. And I put the jade die cut behind and I just like offset it a little bit so you could see the jade through it. Now I tried it the other way and it would work as well but I just want to do the black because the black outline um, Okay, so we'll do the we'll do the black on the top. The nice thing about this glue, although you don't want to put too much on, um, is that it does dry clear. Okay. So remember to offset it. I'm going to get rid of this. So you can see the jade, which I think looks stunning. Now, I just like sometimes to put something a little heavier on there, which I probably shouldn't do with, with the glue or the ink on there. Okay, so let's just leave that for one second. I want to show you how we can do the sentiment, which is... The punch that I used is this punch. And what I've done, one in black and one in jade. And then I cut the black one in half. And I put glue on each side of the black. Now you're not going to get a full border but you do get it on each side. And there is the sentiment. And I used a scrap of black to put across here. I just wanted to make sure that it's 
going to be the right size, the right height. Then it's just as easy to cut it off afterwards. I put dimensions on the back. And now we just glue it, our front panel on. Our inside panel. You could also add some greenery if you wish, um, but I liked it as simple as possible. And these are the holiday rhinestones. And I just used the lighter color. Two on the sentiment and then I put one Nice big one at the top. And there we have our third card. So I hope that you're inspired. There's so much to do with this um, set. And I did like the two-tone of the jade and the black. Then this one with the gold and our first one with the, what is it called? Polished pink. It takes a little while to learn all these new things. So those are our cards. I hope you've enjoyed those. Very easy and quick to do. There's lots of um, lots of things that you can do with this. Don't forget to um, take a look in the catalog for this uh, die that's at the back of the catalog and see um, the possibilities are endless and it is very, very nice. Thank you very much for dropping by. I'm so glad that you were here. I hope you've been inspired and um, get some good ideas that you can create. And I will see you next week with some more ideas. And uh, thank you once again for dropping by and have a great week. Be safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.